Today we are going to discuss Project Gutenberg. Project Gutenberg is a website that has over 60,000 ebooks for people to download and read for free. All of the books listed are older works for which the U.S. copyright has expired and is now public domain. So a lot of the classics are available through here and you're able to read them online through Project Gutenberg's website and you can also download them as EPUB or Kindle books. Now for those of you who are unfamiliar with EPUB formats, EPUB is an ebook format that is compatible with Android devices. So to get to Project Gutenberg, we are going to go to their website, which is gutenberg.org. You can also Google search Project Gutenberg and you'll get there as well. So this is what their website looks like. And at the top of the web page, there is going to be a search and browse tab. Through this, we can search for a specific book or a specific author. We can look at different bookshelves that other users have created. And those include books with similar topics. And we can look at the frequently downloaded books. So we will start with searching for a book. So we will click on book search. Here you can do a quick search, an advanced search, and look at different browsing options. So the quick search is if you just had the title or the author. Advanced search, you can get a little more in depth. And then the browsing options will help you if you wanted to look at a list of different books or different authors. Uh, like if you wanted to look at authors that their name began with the letter M, you can click here and it'll bring up a list for you. So these are all the authors that have names that begin with M. I personally like the advanced search because I can get exactly to what I wanted to look for. So we will do that and let's search for The Great Gatsby because that recently became public domain. And we will put in Fitzgerald. Now this one only has one result. Some of the books may have more than one result and that is because they could be in different languages. So always make sure that the language here is English or your preferred language to read. If you click on this author's name here, it will give you a list of everything that author has written that's on Project Gutenberg. So to get the actual book, we are going to click right here on the title. This pulls up the book's record. Now there are a few options that we could choose from. So we can click on this first link here if we wanted to read the book online. And I'll show you what this looks like. This reads as one continuous page. So you can click on any of these links here if you wanted to skip ahead. But as you can see here, you're gonna have to go through a lot of scrolling to get through this book. So this is the entire book here. You can also click on the EPUB or the Kindle if you wanted to read it on an e-reader. And remember, EPUB is for those of you that have a tablet or an e-reading device that is an Android, which is basically anything that is not a Kindle or an Apple product. And I'm gonna click on EPUB since I am on a PC desktop right now. If you wanted to read the EPUB on your desktop with it downloaded, you're going to need to download Adobe Digital Editions, and they have a website that you can download it for free. So you can just search Adobe Digital Editions in the second one, download, and then you're just gonna select if you have a Mac or a PC, basically. So if you have a Windows computer, this is the link that you're gonna download it on. So this is free. You'll have to create an Adobe ID to read the book. Once again, though, that is free. So if we did do this, then I can just click on it down here and it will open up on my computer. And this is the book. And you only have to do this if you are on a PC or a laptop and you do not want to read it online. 
maybe you don't have access to Wi-Fi, then you could do it this way. If you have a Kindle or another e-reader, you will have to download the correct file format and you're going to have to plug in your device into your computer. And then once your device is connected, you can click on your folders down here and your device is gonna show up underneath your PC somewhere on this list. It's probably gonna to be towards the bottom here and you'll have to go through your downloads and click and drag that file over to where your device is showing up on this list. Now I wanted to show you the other two functions under the search and browse. So if we go back up at the top here, we can click on bookshelves. This has a lot of cool book bundles listed to look at. So if we click on one such as the crime bookshelf, it'll show you other subcategories such as detective fiction, crime fiction, mystery fiction, and then crime nonfiction. So if you click on crime fiction, it will show us some of the books that people have shelved under that subject. And all of these are available to be downloaded. And you can always tell which ones are more popular than others because it will show you the amount of downloads each one has received. And the last function under the search and browse that's fun to look at is the frequently downloaded option. So this shows you the top 100 books and authors that have been downloaded and viewed within the last seven to 30 days. And these right here are all hyperlinked. So if you wanted to specifically go to eBooks in the last seven days, you can click on it and it will jump you right to that spot on the page. If not, you can scroll through this entire page here. So if you click on one of the books, such as Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, it will take you straight to that book record where you can download or read the book online. And I wanted to show you this one because there are different types of files. So right here when I said you could either download the EPUB or the Kindle, depending on what you want to read it with, you also have the option to download the book with the images or without. The images and since this book has a lot of illustrations in it I would recommend downloading one with images on it. And this concludes our overview with Project Gutenberg. If you were interested in reading some classic literature head over to this website and check it out.